Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. And welcome to EB Weeds episode Oh, 17. 17. Sweet 17. Sweet 17. <laughs> Isn't it sweet 16? <laughs> Maybe. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, uh, thank you for tuning in mm. and today we are going to be talking about something interesting. It's kind of one of those English tips episodes, so part three. English tips. English tips. Mm, time to learn. Mm. And, you know, autumn, it's the season of appetite, as That's they say. Very true. And, of course, also reading and sports and etc. But many delicious foods uh, come out in autumn, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one in Japan, Ooh, Jamie? It's got to be kaki. Kaki? Or persimmon. Ah, I not, love persimmon. Not oyster. <laughs> not the oyster one, not the oyster one. <laughs> but yeah, so delicious. You know, when I first came to mm. Japan, I was really confused because there is kaki fry, right? Kaki fry is fry, deep fried oysters. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew this one is the seafood, right? And then mm. I knew that kaki is also the, the fruit, the persimmon, yeah. right? And then I go to a different shop and it says kaki age. What? And I was like, oh, age means to fry, so maybe it's the same as kaki fry. Yeah. But kaki age is just deep fried vegetables. <laughs> so confusing. It's so confusing. <laughs> Often seen on top of udon, you know, that, oh, that okay. bowl of... Anyways, mm. anyways. How about you, Georgie? Um, I really like Japanese mushrooms, like the oh, eringi yeah. ones, mm. and um, yeah, the shiitake are good. Of course, oh, that's like a, a high price. <laughs> the ones like are expensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like pumpkin. Japanese mm. squash is yeah. really good. Uh, and you know what else I like? I like sweet potatoes. Hey, <laughs> sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, interesting so, word. Oh. Right, sweet potato. Because when we think of sweet potato, we of course mean a dessert made of. Um, no? Yeah, sure. No? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna say in Japan, when you think of the word sweet or potato, it refers to a dessert, right? It's made of mashed sweet potato with, um, I think, milk and egg and mm. sugar and shaped often into kind of like a sweet potato, yes, right? But for us, what is it? It's a great question, George. Which was just come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Jamie. <laughs> you know it. I believe in you. So for us, sweet potato is... <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Just, Go for it, George. My, my brain's gone. Just okay. a vegetable, right? Just a vegetable, yeah. yes. It's a, it's a <laughs> vegetable we <laughs> often eat it in autumn. So sweet potato is almost the same as what you say, satsumaimo. Mm. We have some different types that we eat. Uh, they're not all purple outside and yellow is white inside. What else do we have besides that? What are the colors? What are the types do we have? A sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh, I, I, I only know the one which is orange or slightly orange inside and purple on the outside. So. Mm, that's a good one. So mm. with oranges inside, purple on the outside, you can also see what are actually just brown inside. It's mm. um, long ones. Uh, wow. All right, well, Georgie. Yes. What's next? What what's next? next? How about a drink? A drink. OK. How about a tall glass mm. of cider? Cider. I love cider. I yeah. mean, I go to the pub, Sure. you know, order some, I don't know, what, what do we order, like some cottage pie, some shepherd's pie, some <laughs> fish and chips, and get some cider oh, down it. Wash it down with yeah. a cider. I, I like it a bit, you know, not too dry. I like it mm. a bit strong, like alcohol. Do you like a content. sweet cider? Or do you like a dry cider? I like it a bit sweet, mm. uh, but I like to have alcohol content of about maybe whoa, six whoa, or seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alcohol cider? I'm confused, George. Are we talking about two different things here? Perhaps we do. <sighs> so, <laughs> nice, nice there. So, um, the difference between cider in English mm. and in Japanese. So, for English speakers, cider is alcoholic drink, an alcoholic drink made out of it's fermented apples apples good good that's 
Okay. You might have heard of the word sidoru in Japanese. Ah. That's the one. That's the one. But in Japan, what cider in Japan do you mean? Just lemonade. Lemonade, right? <laughs> lemonade or Sprite or uh, yeah, yeah, Seven Up. Yeah. One A of those. Fizzy lemon drink. That's it. So not in English. In English, cider is an alcoholic drink. You mm. have it usually at night. Um, yeah, very nice, very easy to uh, drink and get drunk on. Um, it's actually a perfect drink <laughs> in if you can get it in winter. You can get warm apple cider That's or warm awesome. pear cider. Woo! It is glorious. Mm, it's, mm, it, it has a few different spices mm, as well, like mm, cinnamon mm. or something like this. That it warms your body from mm. the inside, mm. and it is very comfortable. Very comfortable. Drink. Speaking of which, I want to add one to the list here. Go for it. So, when we add like some not hot spices, like more like aromatic spices, like nutmeg or clove or cinnamon to some drinks, it's really popular in winter. And uh, one of the most popular ones that we have, I think, is what we call mulled wine. Ooh, mulled, mulled wine. wine. Mm -hmm. mm. So how tell do you make me about, it? Oh, tell me about mulled wine, George. Um, tell me about I'm it. not sure if it's the same in England, but um, we put some aromatic spices, like classic Christmas spices, like nutmeg and um, uh, clove and everything. And in my country, we tend to put a bit of honey. Yeah, sure. In it. Or I think it'd be sugar too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think, I guess in England, it'd probably be more sugar. Sugar. Or maybe a syrup. Yes. If you find naturally sweet wine, you can just use it as mm. is with the spices. That's also good. Um, in Japan, though, they don't call it mild wine. They call it hot wine. Hot wine. Hot wine. Wow. That means, for me, that means I've left my wine out in the sun too long <laughs> and it has become hot. <laughs> yes. So in English, you say hot wine, it just means someone heated the wine or it just became hot That's naturally, mm. but not the same as the recipe, mm. mulled wine. Now the spelling is A-M-U-L-L-E-D. That's right. right. Here. Good job. Yeah, well, I'll put it in for you. And also it's usually heated for quite a long time. Mm, 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 so mm. to really like soak in or infuse mm. those spices. spices. Which also means the alcohol content might go down a bit, which is pretty easy to drink in winter. That's very true. All right, Georgie, what's, what's next? next? What's next? What do you have? What's next? How about some cake? Mmm, cake. I love cake. You like cake? Mm. How about some sponge cake? Mmm, I like sponge cake. What about short cake? I like short cake too, but that's a different thing. Is it? It is. <laughs> so. Uh, very often in Japan we hear, oh, uh, for my birthday mm. I had short cake. -y. Short cake, right? For us, usually it's a little bit different mm. from the Japanese concept of short cake. To me, a short cake is to be enjoyed by each guest, gets one separate short in, cake. An individual. An individual, mm -hmm. yes, short cake. And what does it look like, Jamie? Do you know what? It looks more like, like a scone. Like this? Or scone. <laughs> we have it, one hopefully floating we'll, here. Hopefully we'll have one here. Yes. That's it. So it's a bit more dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. So it looks like a scone that you slice That's in it. half. You sort of cut in half and then you've added the cream. Cream, cream strawberries, strawberries. Yes. It doesn't have to be strawberries, George. It can be anything you like. Right. So shortcakes can be just by themselves, can be with some syrup, can be with blueberries, can be with raspberries. That's it. Anything you like. Mm. And I guess also the strawberry shortcake is very close to a sponge cake right. for us in the UK as well. Yeah, I think in my country too, like one of the most um, popular birthday sponge cakes is the one that they have in Japan, like yeah. cream and strawberries. Mm. It's, it's, it's great. I mean, it's not bad. It's just very different. That's it. Yeah, very true. Speaking of cakes. <laughs> yes, yeah, speaking of cakes, George. Speaking of cakes, Black. <laughs> uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, so that was an uh, animation character, Bugs Bunny, who loves to eat carrots. That's it. So the next one is a carrot cake. It is the carrot cake. Mm. Do you know what, George? I will say it. Carrot cake is my favorite cake. Ooh, we found it. Jamie's favorite cake is carrot cake. Carrot cake. Mm -hmm. But please, 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 if you bring carrot cake for Jamie, make sure to put some 
frosting mm. on it, in it, in the middle, like that's sandwich. Right. Yeah, that's it. It's got to have the frosting sandwich. So frosting on top, then the carrot cake, then frosting again, then the cake. Mm. So it has that layer. Mm -hmm. Where's frosting, by the way? Oh, frosting. That's a great question, George. Mm. Well, we also called it icing as well, right? Yes, icing is the same thing. Yeah. That's it. They both sound like very, very cold. Frost mm. ice, right? Because they look white and kind of like packed snow or packed ice. Mm. But it's basically just oh, sugar. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's sugar, right? Okay. Very nice. So yes, in Europe, carrot cake has almost always has frosting. So if you buy carrot cake for Jamie, please, for the poor man, make some frosting and put it on me. That's very know. kind. That's very kind. But you don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> please do. <laughs> <laughs> I will share it. I will share it. <laughs> All right. So one last thing, speaking of cakes, was just since we have Christmas coming up kind of soon-ish, mm. is a Christmas cake. Of course, Christmas, Christmas cake. cake. Mm -mm -mm. So in my country, I'm going to say we don't have the same Christmas cake as the British do. Mm. We have a very simple um, vanilla or uh, orange peel flavored, very big, moist sponge cake with just powdered sugar on it. Mm. Very simple. Very simple sure. one. Uh, but in the English world, when you think of Christmas cake, please enlighten us, well, Jamie. A Christmas cake for us is actually a fruit cake. A fruit cake? That's it. So you have like different fruits mm -hmm. uh, soaked uh, inside that cake. Dry fruit? That's it. Very good. Dry, fruit. Dry fruits. And it's very dense. 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 What is dense? Dense basically means it is very heavy and there is not much air in the um, in the cake, mm, so it's mm, not mm. light and fluffy like uh, the shortcake or sponge cake. So I think like the siphon cake, the complete opposite. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Um, but very delicious, great with ice cream mm, as well. Mm, Just mm. cut a little slice, and it's usually in a rectangular shape as well. Mm, mm, but we also, which is even more popular, is Christmas pudding. pudding. Mm, yum 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 yum. Christmas yum. pudding. Now Christmas pudding is again. Uh, fruit cake, but a little softer, mm -hmm. a little more air has gone through it, and it's usually boiled mm. for a long, long time. Boiled? That's it. Mm. You can boil it, and this uh, moistens it, it keeps it moist, as well as keeping all the flavours together. When I had last had it had a bit of an alcoholic it smell to indeed. it. does <laughs> indeed. You're right, Georgie. It is usually cooked with or baked, sorry, with brandy. Mm. Baked with brandy, but also a very common Christmas tradition is when you're about to eat the Christmas pudding, you pour more brandy mm. and then you light it. Flambe. That's <laughs> it, and it has this beautiful blue flame. So you turn mm. off all the lights and you can watch oh, the flames dancing. That's see. really cool. And I, when I had it, um, my friend poured this white runny custard oh really on it. like yes. a cream yes yes so after they finished like the flambe thing mm -hmm. before serving it um he had like a jug of like custard but more runny more like really? like a, like a, maybe like a double cream or a whipped cream or something like that it is like custard oh really yeah and Ooh. um maybe it's different in, perhaps, perhaps maybe it depends on the family perhaps yeah but uh, um he Pour it over the cake, and then we cut it, and he poured even more on what? each of our cups. So we it were having crazy. Yeah, so calories were not high enough. So we <laughs> <laughs> more <laughs> we calories. Pack it, jam it in. So what's interesting is when in the old times at Christmas, um, you used to hide small coins inside the Christmas pudding. And so when you would cut it, if you were the lucky person who got that slice, then maybe you would find some money inside. And That's usually you'd give it the yeah. same. And so very often you would give this slice to the children and they'd be very excited mm, to mm, find mm. the money inside it. But don't eat it, otherwise it's game over. You can't spend that money. Yep, yep. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. All right, Georgie. Whew. I feel hungry. How about you? I am hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> so, I can... All that cake talk. <laughs> So I think we actually, just before our lunch break too, so we're going to be getting some food and then some <laughs> cake. Where can we find some um, oh, that's English um, 
shortcake or oh that's a great point i'll put it in the comments below i can't think of the address at the moment yes okay thank you jamie no worries all right guys well thank you so much for watching this video if there is anything else in english oh, that you yeah. think um oh i heard in english it means this but in japanese it's different mm. please let us know in the comments below yeah great point and great like point. always yeah like subscribe mm. hit that notification bell if you want to be updated about our videos and we'll see you on the next episode or at English Buffet. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. See bye bye. Ya.